it was snitch again. Ellis to Cook. Cook out the back to Hardman. Hardman with a looper to Johnson. And Kyron Johnson deserves that. John, the preferable game of two halves, but Rovers in the end victorious. Yeah, we uh, we played lots of really good stuff, I thought, in the first half. And then second half, we, we conceded some freakish tries, really. But um, we're very much a, a team, a new team, that are on the, on the mend, on recovery, really. I think it's about four games since we've, we've had a win. And I thought today we'd seen a team that was vastly improved from the from a fortnight earlier when we played Whitehaven. It was... It was um, Certainly with the ball, I thought we were a really good attacking threat. I thought we played a lot of really good stuff and played played aggressively with the ball. I thought we threw a lot at them um, and created lots of chances. I mean, I, I think we scored 42. We could, could have probably had a, a few more than that. But again, it's uh, defensively at 42 points to six up. Um, we should put that team to, to the sword and we're not in a place yet where we can do that. But... We are improving. I thought we were really good today in, in large parts. The 80 minutes is an issue. Um, fitness levels is you know, clearly something that we need to address, but it's pretty difficult when you come into the back end of the season getting some fitness work back into the players when uh, they need the energy to play. 32-6 at half-time. We had a comfortable lead. What did you say to the players at half-time? That's gone. The, the half's gone. That's it. Done and dusted. We've set ourselves some goals in this in this period, in this competition, and we we discussed the goals that we'd set, um, and it, it was very much about starting all over again. The half had gone. We, we there's nothing um, other than let's let's get ourselves ready to play again. We were aggressive re right from the very start. We spoke about we got dominated and bullied by them two weeks ago, certainly in the forwards, and we went out and started really aggressively. And I wanted that same attitude the second half. I wanted players running hard, looking to break the line, and I wanted players to hit hard and, and force errors, and they did that, and I thought they start the second half that way as well, forcing uh, errors on two of those their first sets. So, yeah, we we got rolling, we got going, and um, just slackened a little bit. They jagged a couple of freakish tries as a bouncing ball and go straight into the hand of one of their players, and they ran 60 metres, and then the other one was a... Well, it was a kick, wasn't it? A bit of a hack on, and it's come off the side of someone's boot and landed in someone's hand, and they've gone over again. And then all of a sudden, the, the frailties of what we've had almost started to crawl back in. But we um, we managed to get there in the end. Um, didn't like how we finished. Spoke to the players about it. The players' attitudes afterwards in the dressing rooms were great. Uh, I didn't walk into a look. Didn't look like a winner's dressing room anyway. It looked very much like a a group of players that were disappointed with how they finished the game and never mind winning which for me is manner from heaven it's great for me that I can walk into a dressing room where we've won and the players are disappointed which is something I'm really pleased about because that's what I'm trying to work on a, 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 an attitude where we expect a lot of ourselves First victory for you as Rovers coach as well I mean you've had a difficult end to the season but it must be nice to get that win to kick off this playoff series and we're now in the semi-finals but do you want me wanting the players to look at it like that if we're wanting wins going week on week on um, the win for me is in, you know it's just not it's not even on, in my mindset that the, the performance and the players playing well and enjoying enjoying working with each other is, is, is a key for me and I thought we saw that today um, the semi-final stuff after one win is not really not really on the radar for us either. It's very much about we need to improve, we need to get better, we need to build momentum, we need to build momentum till the end of the year and we want to finish the season off strong and give our fans something to cheer about and enjoy watching. Um, it's also about building momentum and energy and, and laying down the foundations for the following season. I spoke to you before the match about the threat their half-backs caused, Dion I and Grant Gore. Uh, how are we pleased with, you with, the, with the way that we dealt with them today? Yeah, we spoke, didn't we, about their forwards dominated ours in a fortnight ago and played extremely well and, and got got over the top of us and gave their halves a really good platform to play. This year, uh, this year, this this week, I thought we were really aggressive. I thought our attitude by our middles, our front rows in particular, were, were, were tenacious. Some of the hits that went in, uh, you know, Bussy in particular, I thought was very aggressive. I chose him as a front row because I thought 
it'd be a little bit different to what they're used to dealing with and probably wouldn't expect Bussy to start up. Picked a young kid called Knowles uh, on the bench who come, came in and brought lots of energy and, and was also very aggressive. So, you know, we're really happy with those the, the forwards and how they laid the platform because ultimately I thought Gareth Moore and I thought Paul Cook were great today because they played off the back of a team that was, or a forward pack that was dominating and very aggressive. What's the news on the injury front within the club? Obviously, you've talked about Bradley Knowles tag coming in today. Rovers have a lot of injuries. What's the news on that front? Um, nothing's changed from from last week, really. We've got a couple of wingmen in Blackmore and Hitchcock who are carrying injuries and have not been able to train. Blackmore just started at the back end of the week to, to practice, but Hitchcock's not. Uh, Wood's got a bit of a facial injury, so he's going to be a little while. Uh, Teasdale's picked up a knock on his knee today and had to leave the field early, which is a concern. Um, and Matt James has picked up a dead leg, but hopefully that should be right. We didn't put him back on our risk, you know, further injury, it? You took, mentioned briefly there the half-back partnership of Paul Cook and Gareth Moore. How do you think they went in general today? I thought they were excellent. I really did. I thought they were aggressive in their actions. I thought they ran the ball well. I asked them to run the ball a little bit more than what they've done in the past. And I think by them running, I thought that created opportunities for Ian Ardman at the back and and Foster and Sykes in the centres and scored some really good tries off the back of six and seven working and playing well together. Looking ahead, now we've got Doncaster next week. Uh, we've beaten them twice this season. Uh, but looking to keep this momentum going forward. Momentum's the key. You know, it, it, whether it's in games, like we had it today and then lost it, uh, we need to keep momentum, we need to keep form, we need to... We need to keep building pressure uh, on ourselves in practice. We need to improve in practice, which is something that's pretty new to these blokes. The expectancy of perfect practice is something that they're not used to, but they're getting to grips with it and understanding what, what we expect from each other. Uh, Doncaster or whoever we play, is, it's about us. It's about us building some momentum. It's about picking the right team, the players executing and training well and uh, going with the right attitude. Rovers played today for 50 minutes, well, probably 50, maybe 55 minutes, and then fitness came into the game, do you think, towards the end? Um, I think that, you know, you, you can say it's fitness. I think it's, it can be clearly that, can't it, when you, you're conceding late on. Um, I thought they tried and, and tried to offload and played some freakish stuff, and we spoke and sent messages down about be ready for the offloading game and for the early kicks, and we just didn't handle the offloads well, I thought. Their six came into the game when they were playing on the front foot. They had a string of penalties against us, and, and I think that they they had momentum. But um, the focus for me is very much on this team's come from 29 nil down to win a game and score 40 odd points. And I think credit needs to be given to the blokes and, and how hard they've worked over the last two weeks. John, thanks for your time. Thank you.